Hello and welcome back to my new video. In this video, we are going to see how we can draw this picture in the empty space beneath it. And there's a trick inside. You will notice it as soon as we start. So let's go on. In this application, we are going to use something called Geometry Reader. And the Geometry Reader is a container view that defines its contents as a function of its own size and recorded space, which means that you can refer to any point inside the, the Geometry Reader regardless of its place on the screen. I will start with the VStack, and inside the VStack there will be a Geometry Reader, and inside it there will be an, a resizable image with corner radius and shadow. Now I will let the fee stack occupies the whole screen by setting max width and max height to infinity. And I will set a background color as well. Also, I need to set a specific width and height for the Geometry Reader. In the assets, I have added the photo and I have added the background color. Another Geometry Reader will be added in the VStack beneath the first one and it will contain the same photo and a mask, an empty mask, and here comes the trick. An empty mask will cover the photo and you can't see anything behind it, unless you draw inside it. So our main job is to draw inside the mask so that we can see the photo behind it. But make sure to give the second geometry reader the first width and heights of, this, of the first one. Now let's add some properties. The first one will be a struct of line that will contain an array of CG points and we will use it in the drawing later on. The drag point will hold the drag location over the photo. The current line is of type line and it will hold an array of points while we are dragging. The lines will hold an array of line and finally the brush location because I will add a brush now for more funny interface. Now I will put the photo inside the second geometry reader in a z-stack to add the brush and the brush position will use the brush location x and y.
Now inside the mask, we need to draw. And the best way to draw directly is to use the canvas because the canvas supports immediate mode drawing. Inside the canvas, we will add a for loop. This for loop will run each time we add a line and the lines will be added from the drag gesture that we will define in a moment. Please note that I have added a red color to the, to the path stroke and this color is really not important because the only thing that we will see when we draw the lines is the photo that sits under the mask. Now to continue the track, the drag gesture will be added to the first photo. I think you have guessed that. While the drag is changing, the brush location is changing as well and points are being added to the current line array of points and also lines are being added to the lines array. This will force the canvas to draw the lines over the mask. When the drag is ended, we will empty the array of points in the current line to start a new line. Now let's resume the preview and see what we got. And this is what we want. As we are dragging on the first photo, the second photo starts to appear as if we are drawing it. That's it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.